Let's face it, getting personal never hurt a record's sales. If anything, it's the opposite. This song, written by Sting after the breakup of his first marriage, is one of the biggest ballads ever. Every breath you take. It's played on the radio all the time. It's probably being played right now. I got a certificate a few years ago for that song from American Radio, and it had been played 10 million times. Right? This was years, this is 10 years ago, so God knows how many times it's been played. Let's say 20. Add up 20 million four minutes, and you probably get something like, I don't know, 20, 20 years of continuous airplay. Actually, Sting, your sums are way off. The real figure is nearer 150 years of continuous play. Every time a song is played on the radio, it earns a royalty, which is split between writer and publisher. On Radio 2, that can be up to £66 a go. If a track is played a lot, it can end up paying your pension, and even your children's pension. The French call them gold songs. All that means is that they're, they're worth a lot of money, <laughs> basically. I think it's, it's my most successful song, and probably better known than any, any others. Uh, and yet it's not in the least bit original. It, uh, you know, it it's, has a standard chord sequence, which is probably nicked off um, Stand By Me. Every breath you take Every move you make Every bond you break Every step you take I'll be watching you Every single day. So it's not it's not original. The, the lyrics you could get from a rhyming dictionary, you know, make, take, fake, wake. And yet it has something about it that people respond to. And that it seems at first like a very romantic, kind of seductive song, which is what I initially intended it to be. But then when you listen to it, you realize there's a compulsion behind it to the point of obsession where it, it becomes quite sinister. Every vow you break but All the time I get people writing letters say, oh, it's our favorite song, it was played at our wedding. And I, you know, and I never contradict people about what the meaning of a song is. I think it's whatever it means to you, it means that's what the meaning is. But for me it has this, this double-edged thing. And uh, it's, I think it's pretty powerful. You know, it's still, still what people want to hear. It's all about stalking someone, isn't it? It's all about I'll be watching you. That's the key line, isn't it? When you have songs where the line repeats and one word is different, that you, you like the ear likes that because you, you're thinking, oh, what's he going to rhyme it with? What's, where's he going to go with it next? It leads you along when there's when there's repetition like that. That's very um, that's a good trick. Not that he, <laughs> not that he was thinking it was a trick. Sometimes I sp I'll spend months and months on a song, making it very technical musically and technical lyrically, and uh, I don't get anywhere. Sometimes the simplest song is the best. Being simple is not easy, though. <laughs> every move you make, every step you take, I'll be watching. 